Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here today with a slightly different video to what you used to from me. I've got a new toy and I've spent all day playing with it. What is it you might ask? It is a diode, laser cutter and engraver. And what do they do you might ask? Well basically you can cut lots of different materials up to one centimetre thick and you can engrave on wood, glass, plastic, acrylic, even leather. You can use it to make stencils, you can use it to make rubber stamps. This is why I as a crafter am particularly interested in this. Now this one is a X-Tool D1. It's made by a lovely company called Makeblock who kindly sent this to me and in exchange they just wanted me to do a video and do an honest review of it. So that's what you're going to get. So I will start by telling you what you need to use it. Right, when this comes to you, it comes in pieces. It's quite easy to put together, actually. They do say it will take 15 to 20 minutes. It took me about 40, but I'm the kind of person who has to keep reading instructions 20 times because I can't remember what I just read. And I like to check everything two or three times. But I, a 53-year-old crafter, managed to put this together all on my own. And I got it working, first time. So, yeah, I was very pleased with that. I think that is testament to how easy it actually is not to my technical skills so it comes you've got two side bits a front bit back bit you've got this piece that comes across middle and then you've got your laser that just slots in here yeah it is described as portable which it is portable because it doesn't come encased in a big case yeah it's not actually that ever i can lift it up with one hand i could actually lift it off the table with one hand if i had room so yeah, that's how it comes and you put it together with a few screws. There is a fabulous tutorial and it is on X-Tool's own website. I think they have it, yes, they have it on YouTube as well. I will link to the YouTube video for anyone who's interested in it. They did it far better than I ever could. So you're much better watching them put it together than me. Right, so here's the thing. Another thing they also sent me was an attachment that allows me to engrave on cylindrical objects such as mugs and glasses or anything spherical. You can even engrave on something as small as a ring, yeah? You know, a ring for your finger. Uh, I've watched other people's videos on this and it is quite an amazing tool. It probably does far more than I will ever want to do with it. But as a crafter, there are lots of lots of things I've got in mind, yeah? Uh, I have watched other people make junk journals with wooden covers, yeah? Wooden covers, wooden spines. Uh, we quite often use all these little intricate uh, wood pieces, don't we, to decorate. Uh, we could make little tags for dangles. Uh, the first thing I've made, I'll show you. Oh, I'll just, I'll tell you how you use it before I show you what I've made. So once you've assembled all this out at box, you will need to connect it to your computer. Much like any other cutting machine, you know, the, the usual suspects, Cricut, Scan and Cut. Because it does work with a program. I won't show you the program, but I will link to one for, so that you can see how it works. It's very basic. You import... A file that you want to cut it works from SVG files there are other types of files but as a crafter the SVG is probably the one you'll want to use uh, you tell it the material you want to use want to cut you tell it how thick your material is you tell it which bits want cutting and which bits want engraving because it will do both all in one go and yeah, you just press go and off it goes now I'll show you the first thing I made with it this was the very first thing I made, and this is it. Yeah, if you look, it's it's got quite a few burn marks on, but that's the telltale sign that it has been cut with a laser. There is a way to minimise. There are a couple of ways actually to minimise those burn marks. And yeah, like I said, this is my first one. There were a few places where it didn't cut very well. I wasn't sure if that was the quality of my wood or if it was the laser. So I did a little bit of research on internet and I found that, yes, it was there was something I could do to make that a little bit better. And what I did is, this is the three millimetre plywood I've been cutting. And I'd been having it laid directly onto this MDF tabletop that I've used to put my machine on. Now, 
They do do something called a honeycomb mat, which allows airflow underneath this uh, substrate that you're going to be cutting. So, me as a crafter, you know, we always like to find different ways to do things, don't we? I went in my kitchen and I got this. It's a cooling rack, yeah? So, I popped that in. I popped me piece of three millimetre plywood that I've been using on top of it and I had another go and this was my second go I'll show you it first I'll show me side by side you can see that's much more burnt yeah just the fact that there was airflow underneath this plywood it allowed the laser to pass through better it gave me a perfect cut lovely and smooth no chance of any splinters and there's much less burn on the edges i was really happy with that and i think you can see what i've made it was going to be a keyring but i'm not all fair with sizes yet i made it cut a little bit bigger than i intended i'll make another one even smaller later in fact i'll film that one i'll speed it up a little bit because this one took about five minutes to cut i think so i'll cut another slightly smaller and i will show that at the end of this video so that you get to see it working yeah so yeah i'm really happy with that that's a little tribute to my cat phoebe i'm really happy with the quality of that engraving i've left it uh, as an outline but you can also tick a little box on the machine and your engraving will be completely filled in so it says phoebe it would be completely filled in so i might try that as well yeah so i did that that also left me all these interesting little bits and pieces so you just know they're going to turn up on junk journals, don't you, as little tags. <laughs> that looks like a cloud to me. Yeah, that's a cloud now. So that's going to be a cloud and I'll do some stamping on it. I could even, when I work out how to engrave on small items, I could engrave a word on it. Yeah, that sounds like an idea. Right, so what else do you need to know? So I did mention that the machine comes with completely free software. If you want to get a little bit more technical and do some more complicated items, it does also work with some other software. I'm just going to get this up. I've made myself some notes just to make sure I don't forget to tell you anything. Yeah, and I did actually download this software and it does take a little bit more time to get to grips with, but it's a very popular piece of software that a lot of people use and it's compatible with most other laser cutters but it's particularly good for this one and it's called Lightburn. another one is called laser grbl i've not had a look at that one yet and yeah so that will allow it'll allow you to make uh m many more little adjustments so i understand i will be doing other videos on this to show you what i've been making so i'll update that and if you've got any questions feel free to email me i will put all the details in the description for x2 yeah, you will have their video on building it and, yeah, first use if you do want to buy one. And I will also link to another YouTube I've been watching. And, oh, I forgot his name now. It's something like Build, Build Dad Build is very funny. He even <laughs> he engraved on a piece of toast. So, yeah, if you really want to, he did advise you don't eat it, but he engraved on a piece of toast. I thought that was fabulous, yeah. And it's quite funny, so I think you'll enjoy watching if you want to know any more about these laser cutters. If you want to get a little bit more technical than I do, watch Build Dad Build is, is quite funny. Even if I didn't want to know anything about laser cutters, I'd love watching him. Right, so that's that covered. I will quickly show you the tool I mentioned earlier that allows me to engrave on cylindrical items. Yeah. It'll also demonstrate how well packed this uh machine does come it came in a box slightly bigger than this but it, everything is packed the boxes are yeah they're obviously made for the items so everything is molded so every little item you need even the tools to put them together are provided yeah all your screws everything else you need there are full pdf instructions on xtools website in addition to videos yeah so pop that away i will do another video showing that this this addition by the way is also compatible with other uh laser cutters it's not only compatible with the x tool it can be used with others and again i will put a list of those down below x tool have provided me with those i'm sorry for camera shaking i've got it attached to my dining room table today where i've got this machine set up 
So uh, that's everything I needed to tell you. I think I will love you and leave you. And I'll leave you with some video of the machine cutting. So thank you very much for watching. If you are interested in buying one, all the details are in the description. And I think there is a discount code, which I will link as well. So thank you, everyone. And I'll see you next time. Bye.